Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down uh, 177. Nasdaq's off 121. S&Ps are off 36. Uh, we have our man, Mr. Fred Ernest. Fred is the president and CEO of Vista Gold. We happen to own Vista Gold. Fred Ernest, welcome back to TFNN. Tom, good afternoon. Thanks for having me. Great to be. I'm so happy to hear. You know, I read this news about uh, the uh, Northern Territory government. Uh, and I mean, I want to talk about Vista and how this relates to Vista, because this is like, uh, you know, you do a lot of development in the gold market. I do a lot of development in the real estate market. And a zoning change is always good. <laughs> um, so explain to us, like, what may happen here. I guess this is just a, this is the, a final report, Fred. Is that correct from the Min Mineral Development Task Force? Yeah, that's absolutely right, Tom. Uh, a year ago, they formed a, a task force to evaluate uh, the things that are keeping mining investment from happening in the Northern Territory. And we've been we've been lobbying for years to have reforms in the royalty scheme in the territory. Uh, presently, uh, and what we included in our feasibility study, the royalty that we would pay to the Northern Territory government under the present uh, net profits proceeds uh, regime would be about the equivalent of a, of a seven to nine percent ad valorem tax. And then ad valorem tax is the way that uh, like Western Australia and other states in Australia tax the mining industry. Western Australia, for example, has a 2.5% 2 2 ad valorem tax on gold projects. So, so you can see that there's a, a, a huge disparity. Now, the, the, the royalty reforms haven't been determined but the recommendation is, is that the government needs to change to an ad valorem structure. And we expect that it will be something in the range of three to 5%. And so uh, you, you can appreciate that when, like in, using your real estate example, when real estate taxes go down, it's a good thing. Yes, yes, because it makes the aspect folks of more investors you can hire more workers. There, there's a, there's a whole flow that actually does happen down. You know, it, it's not a trickle down. It's kind of it's pretty immediate because if you're going to banks or you're going to investors to get money, well, you know, if you have a, you know, a two to three percent difference when you're talking millions, it's it's quite a bit of money. A absolutely, you know, and, and another part that uh, is is being recommended is that there be some sort of consideration so that in the early years of a project, when the project is paying back the capital investment, that the royalty rate be decreased, thereby allowing a little bit more space for investors who really take the risk of the project to receive some cash flow in those early years instead of just all the money going to the bank. We think this is a tremendous win for the mining industry and especially for the Mount Todd Gold Project. And, and Fred, can you explain, you know, I, my, my understanding is that, you know, Vista has the biggest project right there in a tier one in, in, um, district. And if we go back, like if we go back years, was this always like a large district and then folks just move somewhere else? How, what happened in this district? Well, so, so the, the mining district where we're located is the Pine Creek district. It's a, been a gold producing district for uh, over a hundred years. Deposits have been have been developed, mined out and closed. And so there's been a little bit of a, you know, flux in, in the, the activity in the Pine Creek district and inside the territory and, and recognize that the territory is a huge place geographically. Like, yes. Eyes of uh, North and South Dakota, Minnesota, Kansas, Nebraska, Oklahoma, Missouri, Iowa, and, and Minnesota, if I didn't name that. Wow. It's a big place. Yes. And, and yet there's only a quarter of a million people that live there. So it's it's largely unexplored. And the reason that it's unexplored is because why would somebody spend money in the Northern Territory to so they could pay the tax that we've been using when they could go to Western Australia and pay a tax that's a quarter? I see. So, Policy structure trickles down and has impacts on business investments, and uh, and like I said, we we've, we've been working with government for years. But when they formed the task force, we were able to meet with the task force, explain our position, present hard data, and and I'm very pleased that they've seen the light, so to speak. I think this is just outstanding for us. Yeah, I know, and it's very it's common sense too. I mean, you know. 
it, you know, in many businesses, it's hard to, you know, basically pick them apart. But in this particular case, you can see, you know, I mean, if we just look at the United States, you know, these cities, they have incentives so that money comes in, you know, and, and businesses come in and it works. <laughs> I mean, you know, people say sometimes if the incentive is too big, they'll, you know, say, oh, that's no good. But the bottom line is that incentives like this actually work. Um, so let's switch gears for a little because since the last time that I had you on, you know, this gold price has got some juice also, you know, so that's, that's encouraging in the aspect of where your feasibility study is, you know, versus where we are. And I do understand that, like when you're doing feasibility studies, I, I mean, you have to bring the price of, have the price of gold tremendously under kind of where we are, right? Is that how this works? Yeah, we, we uh, typically use a, a backwards looking gold price, uh, three year average, you know, we, we, we do use a conservative gold price. Right, right. And the, the project in general, is there any, uh, any updates here? I know that, you know, we're, you know, you, are there any updates in, inside of that project? Well, you know, just so we're, we're talking about gold price, you know, the, the current gold price uh, offsets any of the impact of inflation over the last year and a half and, and combined with the, the potential impact of the, the change in the royalty, and we're gonna have to wait almost a year to find out what the change in royalty are, but, but those two factors combined add somewhere between a quarter of a, of a billion and, and $400 million to the NPV of the project. Right. This is the, the price. I mean, we've always talked, you and I have had conversations about the leverage to the gold price. Yes. And, price uh, it makes a huge difference for Mount Todd and and when it goes up like it has I think we benefit as much or more than almost any other developer in in the, the value of our project yeah you got to love it well listen it's always a pleasure having you on I'm, I'm really happy you know for you in general for the company in particular folks because you know like all of us do a lot of work folks and it's easier doing work when it's kind of going with you, <laughs> right? Do you know what I mean? It's, it's uh, and you've, you know, we've all had it both ways. I mean, I'm just not talking about, you know, Vista Gold in general, but things are always easier for all the work that you've already put in place. And it seems that, you know, the gold price is where, you know, it's going higher. The dollar is pulling back, you know, all, it seems like Fred, I mean, all the currencies are pulling back. That's, that's, that's kind of the reality out here, you know, around the world. So. Um, people are getting, you know, I, I don't, I don't see a crash in the dollar, but I can see that dollar going back to 90, which is, you know, which would get that acceleration going in a big way. Well, listen, this is always a pleasure, Fred. You have a great one, safe one, and we look forward to having you on again. Very good. Thank that, you, Tom. Thanks, Fred. Yes. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow, the Dow Industrials. Let's see where this baby is. And Vista, by the way, folks, trades on the NYSE, American um, uh, VGZ. The high uh, uh, Dow is up, uh, down 189. NASDAQ's up 125. S&P's off 36. Stay right there. We'll come right back, folks.